Hi everyone, this is Scott Lowe from CES, and this thing on my face, you might recognize it. It's the Oculus Rift, and this is the most uh, recent prototype. It's actually a lot farther along than we've seen it ever before. You'll notice uh, on the front here, I've got an array of little dots. These are actually LEDs because they've integrated a new tracking system that actually uses a camera, which is off screen here, but you'll, you'll see it uh, in a minute. But uh, so what that does is it actually allows them to uh, track your position. In the past, you've been able to lean and move around uh, it with the controller, but with uh, this, with this new tracking tech, you can actually like lean down and look at stuff and kind of move in the space without having to actually move your controller, uh, your player through the controller. So uh, it adds a lot of new uh, kind of experiential options. You can kind of peek out of things a lot more effectively. Like it, it, you, instead of just tilting your head, you're actually moving your entire body uh, in a way that's reflected on screen. But more importantly, they've reduced uh, the kind of the latency and the perceptual uh, lag between uh, what's happening in the game and what's reflected on screen. So you'll actually, you, a lot of the motion blur that we've reported on in the past has now been reduced. So when you look around, there's less of that kind of judder, there's less of that kind of uh, blurring effect that kind of disorients you and takes you out of the experience. So it's a, it's a huge improvement. And more importantly, on the inside here, we have an OLED display, which is actually a big boost in terms of uh, display quality. Uh, they're not talking about resolution quite yet, uh, but they are saying that everything we're seeing here is reflective of the final, uh, what will either be in the final experience or even better than the final experience. So uh, this is the latest from Oculus Rift. It's come a long way. Uh, to read our full impressions and see more from CES, go to iGen.com slash CES.